Ever since I saw Casey Neistat zipping around New York City on his brand new and shiny boosted board, I wanted one. But there's one means of unnecessary human, whatever I called it before, that I don't have that I really want. And that's changing today. Contained in this box is something I've literally wanted since I was a little, little, tiny boy. So fast! He started riding boosted boards right around when I was 17 years old, so a $2,000 skateboard was out of reach for me, as it was for any teenager working a minimum wage job. Now that I'm 23 years old, I can finally get all the toys that I wanted when I was younger. But times had changed and so had my needs, but one thing hadn't, I still wanted an electric skateboard, just a different one. One that's crazy fast, can go on gravel roads, and one that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. That left me with one option, make my own. I don't know about you, but I don't know shit about electrical engineering. So I had to make this as simple as possible, and so I did. I started looking around and found a promising seller from China, his company is called L Faster. Couple messages later, I beat the bullet and bought $700 worth of parts all while I was drunk. Few postal fuck ups later, I received new trucks with wheels, two powerful motors, and a battery that had each and every component come loose while it was in transit. I had to learn to solder to get it back together. But it was easy enough with the help of the seller and my grandfather, who's an old Soviet electrical engineer for war planes. Putting it all together was as easy as it gets. All I had to do was unscrew the old trucks and put on the new ones. As for the battery, I borrowed my friend's drill to make four holes and screw the battery to the board. With everything holding together, it was time for testing. As someone who rarely rides skateboards, getting up and riding was easy enough. The controls are very responsive. You have one trigger for going forward and braking, then there's a button for reverse and one more button that switches through four modes. There's a slow beginner mode with which you should start, then there's a second mode which is a bit faster, then there's the third mode which is what I like to ride with as it's plenty fast and caps out about 45 km per hour. The last mode I haven't and don't want to test, as I already have fallen going full speed on third mode and gotten hurt bad enough. My favorite thing about this thing is range. While you do have to charge it for about 5 hours from zero to full charge, the range of this thing makes up for it. What's more, the big inflatable wheels on this thing lets me take it to grass. And gravel roads which we have plenty of here. In conclusion, if you're anything like me, build your own board. Not only you will get very powerful and capable off-road board, you will learn a lot during the process. I've read that these things break a lot, but if you build it yourself, it should be easy to fix, right? Making my own electric vehicle got me feeling like Elon Musk and I'm hooked. For my next project I want to make an electric soup board that goes insanely fast, so if you're into that please consider subscribing to my channel.